With increasing pressure on wild stocks of fish, how will we feed an additional 3 billion people in the next 30 years? Aquaculture is helping to bridge the sustainable seafood gap. Aquaculture has grown to produce more than 50% of seafood consumed globally, and that's only expected to rise. But what is aquaculture? And how is California addressing our sustainable seafood challenges? Let's start there. And if you're liking our content, please click the subscribe button below. What is aquaculture? The simple answer is, it's farming the water. Whether you're growing fish, plants, crustaceans, mollusks, algae, or any other cool creatures, if you're doing it in water, you're doing aquaculture. Aquaculture is old, being developed anywhere from hundreds to thousands of years ago independently by cultures around the globe. But aquaculture is also new, like really new, like the fastest growing sector of the agricultural economy new. Aquaculture can be anywhere and look like many things. Aquaculture can be small, like microalgae, grown in a pure biomass system. And aquaculture can be massive, like white sturgeon raised at sterling caviar. Aquaculture could be up in the mountains in icy cold water, like at Mount Lassen, Trout, and Steelhead. And aquaculture can be in the hottest deserts, like at Pacific Aqua Farms. And aquaculture could be out in the ocean, like Monterey Abalone. Or on land, like at Imperial Catfish. Some aquaculture farms specialize in just one species, like they do at North American Broodstock, raising white shrimp. And some farms, like the fishery, grow many species, including catfish, sturgeon, black bass, and carp. Aquaculture can be in ponds, like the ones at Blue Green Farms, or in incredibly complex technical systems, like the ones that Aquaneering manufactures for biomedical research labs all over the globe. Aquaculture could be intensive or so passive, you barely know it's there. The oysters in Tamales Bay are invisible at high tide and help the surrounding ecosystem by filtering the water. California's rice fields produce the majority of America's sushi rice, over four billion pounds every year but they also provide habitat to millions of migratory birds. Solutions Farms in Vista, California, uses aquaculture not just to raise tilapia and vegetables for restaurants, but also to raise hope. They provide housing support and employee readiness training to homeless families, helping them get back on their feet. Aquaculture could be raising sturgeon in tanks, like they do at Tsar Nikolai Caviar. It could also be growing aquaponic vegetables with the effluent from those fish. If California began offshore kelp aquaculture, like Blue Evolution, a California-based company, is doing in Alaska, we could sequester millions of tons of CO2 annually while protecting California's coastal communities and providing essential fish habitat. Aquaculture is one of our best tools for restoring coastal ecosystems, combating climate change, and sustainably feeding billions of people around the globe. Abalone. Oysters. Sturgeon. Mussels, trout, kelp, catfish, shrimp, carp, tilapia, seaweed, duckweed, heck, even cannabis weed. In California, we're using aquaculture to farm it. So the next time you're at the seafood counter, think about sustainably farmed aquaculture products from California and think about the farmers and the farms behind those foods.